today I am going to walk you through how to solve these kinds of weird shape geometry problems. They're pretty common. They come up often on your math GED test. And we'll go over some tricks on how to solve them, and then we will do one together, GED style question at the end of the video. Let's get right to it. All right, so you're taking the test, and they give you this like L-shape thing. What are you supposed to do? It's kind of like, hmm? Huh? Well, I'm here to remind you. I'm here to reassure you. Um, I'm here to gently encourage you to think that these are easy. They're like gimme. You see one of these things, you should get excited. And let's just take a moment to appreciate the special effects. See that? Took me longer than anything else on this whole video, so I wanted to do it twice. All right, so we have this L-shape thing they give you, and typically they will ask you, what is the area of the thing? Or what is the perimeter of the thing? Those are the two GED questions they will hit you with. Well, it turns out, um, especially with the first one, the area, uh, that there is a pretty simple way to do it. There's like a trick that you can use that will make this not confusing anymore. It'll make it pretty simple. And that trick, ready? Are you watching carefully? You see that? Do it again. All right. You just draw in a line. It's like magic. You take one shape and turn it into two shapes. Ding. That was another special effect right there. This is, um, my videos are getting just more and more ambitious technically. I, I hope you're all appreciating that. It took me a long time. The, that yellow, the yellow and the wand. All right. So what do you do if you have two uh, rectangles? Well, that's pretty simple. Um, let's look at this first rectangle here. They're asking for area. Um, maybe you know it off the top of your head. You don't have to because the GED will give it to you on the formula sheet. It's right there. The area is equal to the length times the width. Okay, well, the area is equal to the length times the width. I just said that. Um, well, what's the length? It's 35. What's the width? It's 10. That's pretty simple. You just multiply them together. Uh, you can do this in your head if you want. If you are, If it's not one of the first five or six questions, the no calculator section, I would encourage you to use a calculator every time you do arithmetic um, in case, you know, there's just no chance for a careless mistake, although 10 times 35 is about as easy as multiplication gets. Uh, the, other, the other one, 8 times 20, same deal. Probably do that in your head too, maybe. I don't know. You don't have to, hopefully, if you have a calculator. 160. So we have the two uh, different pieces. What do you do? You add them. You have the green. You have the purple. You put them together, and what do you get? It sounds like, uh, like a high school chant or something. Um, well, you just you just add them. Five ten, three fifty plus one sixty. What do you get? Uh, ten. Nope, not a chance. All right, uh, that's it for the area questions. They usually won't be much more challenging than that. Um, maybe a little more challenging. We'll get to the one at the end of this video is a little more challenging. All right, what about the perimeter? Perimeter, you may remember, is basically all the sides added up together. It's You can think of it as like, if you were like a little dude walking around the shape, what is the length you would have to walk to get from the very beginning to where you started? That's perimeter. More special effects. Y'all see this? Okay, the problem here is these two, are these two um, question marks. They don't tell you, uh, here we have, we know this is 10 centimeters and 20 and 8 and blah, 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 but they don't tell you how long this is. Well, how do you figure it out? Well, I'm here to help. Um, let's look at this bottom one first. We don't know what it is. They don't tell us. However, they do tell us other things that are kind of important. We know these two lengths, the 20 and the 10. And guess what? The 10, you can just kind of like move down. It's kind of like the magical weird trick I showed you with the area thing. You just kind of like draw in a line. And you know that line. That line is 10. Well, if this is 20 and this is 10, the whole thing has to be, guess what, guys? 30. 10 plus 20. Now you know. You know the blue thing. Great. One down. One to go. This one is sort of the same except in reverse. We don't know this, and there, we don't know the pieces of this we can add together. However... We do know this is 35. From the very bottom of the shape to the top, 35 centimeters. We also know that whatever this is, if we just take it away, that's what's going to give us the blue line, right? 
this is missing from the blue line. Well, guess what? We know the blue, the, that little red piece. It's eight centimeters. So 35, take away this eight centimeter length. That's going to be our blue line, 27. See, easy. And now we know all of the sides, 10, 27, 28, 30, and 35. We just add them together. What do you get? I'm tempted to do another chant, but um, I learned my lesson the first time. Did I? I guess we'll find out. Keep watching. We'll see if I learned my lesson. Um, that's another thing right there I would use a calculator for if I had access to it. 130. There. We have the area. We have the perimeter. We figured it all out ourselves. Congratulations to us. Let's take a look at a GED style question. This shape is a little different. It's a little more complicated. It looks like, I don't know, a, a C got punched in its face maybe, or it looks like a cartoon character trying to flex a, a bicep, a really kind of like weak bicep right there. I don't know if you can see that. Got to go to the gym, bro. Anyway, um, all right. Again, we see we, we have a bunch of information and we are lacking some information. There are some sides we don't know. And let's see what it's asking. A Russian gangster has threatened to kidnap your cat unless you can tell him the correct area of a rectangular shape with lengths as marked below. Assuming you like your cat, what do you tell him? All right, well, what's that one weird trick? I don't know what the area is going to, it's asking for area. I don't know what the area is gonna be, but if I draw in some lines, now I have three rectangles. I can deal with a rectangle, let's do it. The first rectangle, 20 times 12, easy, right? I mean, you know, basically easy. Um, 240, great. This one, we don't know. We don't know this side. The whole thing is 30, but we don't know this piece of it, and we don't know this yet. So let's skip it for now, um, because this is easy. We know 8, and we know 38. That's going to be 304. Great. We've done two of the three rectangles. We just need to figure out this last piece. Well, how do we do that? Um, let's look. We know from the top to the bottom, let's, let's there's, just for the, in the interest of um, color completion, let's color it in here. Uh, we know from the top to the bottom is going to be 30. Um, well, we know that this chunk of it is 12. We know that this chunk of it is 8. 30 minus 12 minus 8, that's going to give us this, this side, right? Um, Ta-da! 30 minus 12 minus 8. 10. We can write that in. This, this is tricky, this last question mark, because we do know this side, but we don't know this side. So we can't just like take this away, right? But we can use our powers of deduction to realize we might not know this top side, but we do know this bottom side, because they're the same, right? And we know from this side of the shape to the other side of the shape is 38, but this piece is 29. If we take away 29 from 38, it's going to leave us with whatever this side is. You can think of it also like in reverse. If, that, if you're not a subtraction person, you can think of it like something plus 29 is going to give you 38. Let's figure out that something. All you have to do is take away 29 from 38, and you get 9. Great. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the third rectangle. 9 times 10 is 90. What do you do? Oh, it's so hard not to do that stupid chant. You add them. Hooray! There's our answer. Okay. That's it. We're going to do it one more time just for completists out there. We're going to turn this into a perimeter problem. It's the same deal. You have to think the same way and use the same techniques. But, and all the numbers are the same. We just don't know this length. We don't know this length. How do we figure it out? Well, you guys remember we figured this out last time. You can go back in the video and see how we did it if you forget. It was 30 minus 12 minus 8 equals 10. What about this, though? Um, how do we figure that out? Well, we figured this out last time, right? That nine centimeters is this piece, which means nine centimeters is also this piece. And guess what? If we know from one side of the rectangle to the other side of the rectangle is 20, you're doing this ahead of me. You're seeing where I'm going. You're learning and doing great. Um, we just have to subtract this nine from 20, and that gives us 11. Ta-da! We now know this side is 11, and we know every single side now, right? We're walking, we know the lengths, we just add them up, 
158? The answer is D. That is how you solve one of these weird shape problems. How It won't get dip more difficult than this. This is probably, this, this example one is probably one or two steps harder than you'll see on the test. And if you can do this, you will get it right when you take the real test. All right. That's it for today. As always, my final and best advice is to like and subscribe to my videos. I will make more of them as long as I receive the um, encouragement and uh, thumbs up that I am so pathetically begging you all to give me. All right, good luck, everyone.